Hi guys! So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial with the Too Faced Cat Eyes. Um, I know it's not new, but I got it for my birthday for my love bug. Thank you! So I'm going to incorporate this in this look. And I really like the colors. They're so nice and I swatched them. You know what? I'm going to swatch it for you. This is going to be a review and a makeup look. Well, I have my foundation on already and I primed my eyes so we could go ahead and get started on the makeup look. But first, let's swatch this. First of all, first of all, let's talk about this packaging. Look at this. It's like a metal palette. And it has this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cheetah print, which I'm all about. I like it. Cheetah Licious, right? Okay, I'm done. And it's for cat eyes, so, and it's a feminine. And you can do a liquid eyeliner if you want to, which I'm not going to, but. So this is a purr. And it's like a very, like, look how pigmented that is. And it's super soft and creamy. And that's it right there. And then Meow, which is even softer than Purr. And that one's, and they're super blendable. So that's Purr right here. And that's Meow, so it's a little bit more pigmented. It's matte, and then Purr is like, it's matte, but it definitely has a little bit more like sheen to it. And then Kitten, which is like a, a light pink lilac, which is also soft. And Kitten is right there. And then Tiger Eye, which is like a nice copper brown color. Like a bronze, I would say. That's going to go perfect with this. I'm going to, and then I'm going to put the, eye the other eyeshadows here. I'm horrible at swatching. Okay. Let's see. See that nice brown bronze shade, and then pussy cat dolls. No, pussy cat is like a nice purple, like a lavender. It's like, let me see if I can. It's really light, but I feel like if I put it with some setting powder, you can see it right there. And then kitten glitter. This is so nice. Look how pretty. It's like a sky blue mixed with some silver glitter. And that's kitty glitter right there. And then the leopard color. It's like a brown with some gold shimmers in it. It's really nice. And that's it right there. And then jungle love. It's like a purple with like darker purple glitter on it. And that's it right there. It comes out really dark, like when you swatch it, but when you're looking at it, see, you can definitely tell that it's purple. And then Panther, which is just black, and it's so creamy. And that's Panther right there. And it comes with um, Too Faced Cat Eyes, like a how-to guide. So three steps, three looks, and three minutes. Let's check that out. I feel like this is my first review, like, go me. Oh, and it's so cute, it comes with a little mirror. Oh, and this is Too Faced Cat Eyes on it. I'm such a sucker for them. For today, I had my own ideas in mind. Ha ha ha. And I have these two samples of the Too Faced. One of them is the glitter glue for um, eyeshadow primer. And then the other one is a shadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow primer so they're both like primers but I've heard a lot of like youtubers rave about it but I just never went out because I, I like glitter but I don't like fallout so I more gravitate towards like how would I say it towards like matte colors instead of like shimmers but for you guys I will expand and great things that I have this sample so I didn't have to like splurge and then not really get any use out of it. So first, like, I get a little sample so I get to test it out. And I get to test it out for you guys. So you guys can see if you guys want to splurge. And spend that pretty penny on one of these. And I think I'm going to go in with the glitter glue. Because some of these have a little bit of, like, a shimmer and a glitter to them. So I want it to, like, stick and not fall into my face since my foundation is already done. Which was 
shame on me. I don't know why I did that. But I just, because, I mean, I did a current foundation um, routine on my last video. So I figured it would be boring to contribute that again in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my translucent powder. You know how I do with my translucent powder under my eyes. And this. Let's see if this one works here too. Hopefully, since it's pressed, hopefully it works as well. Oh, you can kind of see it. Hey girl, I'm baking. <laughs> Anyways, so I went in my last video. I didn't do my brows <laughs> because my camera died. It was like dying, so I was like trying to like fit everything in and I forgot to do my eyebrows. But they luckily weren't that bad. Well, right now they're kind of bad. But they weren't that bad in that video, but in this video, the brows will be done. So, sorry about that. But I do do my eyebrows. I do do. <laughs> I do my eyebrows on a daily basis. I do not leave this house without my brows. I mean, I could leave my house without makeup, but not my brows. Because I feel like incomplete. Like, they're so light. Like, well, you guys might think they're dark, but for me, they're so light. So, Anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let me stop rambling. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to go in with is Tiger Eyes and it's that bronze color. Bronze? Bronze color? I'm going to go over my whole eye. Ah, just like roses. I got the roses scented facial spray it smells so good you could even use it without makeup just to refresh in your face I love it and if you hear little doggy steps because Max my little Yorkie is on the floor and I have this little lamb cone palette that I'm just gonna go and put this like mauve color in my crease that's the only thing about this palette it doesn't have like a transition shade but that's okay I really like all the colors and they're really pigmented and they're fun and it's I like that you can have like an eyeliner from any of these colors which is fun and different. I really like Too Faced and all their palettes and how creative they are that they all smell differently. I really want to try the peach palette. Oh, tell me if it's worth buying. Tell me. Comment down below letting me know. And I'm sorry I sound so raspy. I sound like a man. Just that I'm a little sick guys. The weather in PA is crazy. Love your brush. So much blending. I feel like we lost that copper tone. I mean that bronze tone. What is wrong with me? I just kind of get to gather. And then I think I'm going to go in with this pencil brush from Equal Tools. Wet it a little bit, and I'm gonna go in with Leopard. And I'm just gonna go and make like a little V shape in the outer corner of my eye to really deepen that corner up. You know how I like that. And then with my little trusty fluffy blush. And then with my little trusty fluffy blush. Trusty fluffy brush. I'm going to. I should have used tape, but it's okay next time. That's a trick that you guys can do. You guys can use tape and then be as messy as you want. I'm going to go in with um, kitty glitter. Oh, you guys. You guys. Yes. Guess who forgot to use this as a primer? This girl right here. So on my next tutorial, 
you know what? I can do two looks. So I'm gonna do this look, and then I'm gonna do a second look with the same palette, and I'll use this. And with Purr and a little bit of Meow for the brow bone. I'm going to go in with Tiger Eye for my bottom lash line. I'm going to, because I really want it smoked out, I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools brush and really smoke it out. This might be my new fave, and then I'm gonna go in with Leopard in my outer corner of my eyes. And for my inner corners, with this detailing brush, I'm gonna go in with Meow and Just for that nice little pop. Let's take out the big edge. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. And then now I'm going to contour. And for the purpose of this that I all I'm gonna also use this little tiny collage for Too Faced, so cute. Here we go. In the color Love Flush, or Justify My Love. It's supposed to be a 16 hour blush. See, oh, it's so pretty and pigmented. Woo! Girl, I was not ready for that. Okay, um, wow. <laughs> Just a little bit goes a long way with this breath. blush. And then I like to put some on my nose. Small stippling brush. I can. Wow. Okay, Too Faced, I see you with the blush coming through. Okay. No lashes. And then also, I'm gonna pair this look with the melted Too Faced lipstick. And. What's a liquid long wearing lipstick? A really nice, oh, this is gonna be perfect for spring. It's a really nice light pink color. So, this is the final result of look one. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Now let's step into the next. I'm going to use. I'm just going to use the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance. Ooh, and it comes with a little bit of color to it. contouring palette I'm gonna use that for my transition shape with the fluffy brush then I just wet my flat brush and I'm gonna go in with kitty glitter bone highlight I'm gonna go in with meow again With my detailing brush, I'm going to go in again with Purr and Meow and a little bit of Kitten. Lower lash line. This is very daytime appropriate. I was going to go in with the Panther on the outer corner, but I don't know. I really like it like this. I think it looks really pretty, fresh. 
and glowy. Let me just put some mascara on so we can see it in full effect. To make it more fun, I'm gonna put now in my water to really open up the eye. And there's not a lot of fallout. Like, a, there's not a lot of fallout with these eyeshadows. So I really like them. They're really blendable. They're really pigmented. I feel like if I would have put, um, like, Meow or Purr down first and then put Kitty Glitter, Kitty Glitter would have popped more. But it's not bad. It's really nice and, like, really spring and fresh and different, I think, than your usual, like, dark eye makeup looks and the lip works for both I think looks because I feel like the light with the light kind of looks good together um I would say for these melted Too Faced liquid lipsticks if you have really dry lips it's gonna go into every crevice of your lips so exfoliate before using it it kind of looks a little crusty you can't tell that much hopefully when I'm editing it, I'm gonna be like, um, yes, you can, girl. Um, so to make it a little different, I'm gonna go in. in my next color. it a little different my highlight in guilted honey <laughs> makes my lips look a little bigger in the center that's the trick girl that's the trick so this is my second look it's a little more fresh and a little more youthful in my opinion so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial oh <coughs> didn't even set the face that went a little bit in my mouth but it doesn't taste bad it doesn't and it smells like roses like it smells like you know when you go to the groceries and you get yourself roses or for Valentine's Day for any special occasion or if you're lucky like me my boyfriend he just gets it just because and it smells exactly like that, like the water mixed with the rose. It smells so good. And um, I forgot to tell you, sorry, this is all over the place, how this smells. It doesn't really have like a smell. It smells like vanilla y, kind of, but not a really strong smell. And this is it swatched. I forgot to swatch that for you. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.